very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Madhvi Reddy. I would like to welcome all the dignitaries, press and media, to this fabulous and amazing launch of our Arun Rises Hyderabad for the Legends League Cricket Tournament 2023. Can we give it up for all the players who are here today? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to please put your hands together as I welcome our Chairman and Managing Director for Earn Prize, Mr. Manoj Namburu and the Team Owners, Mr. Sunil Gomi Redigaru and Mr. Pavan Redigaru on to the stage. With your round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, please. And our Coach of Earn Prizes, Mr. Nikhil. Please put your hands together for Mr. Nikhil. Thank you so much. Now I would like our Chairman and Managing Director of Honorable Rice, Mr. Manoj Sir, to please welcome the media. Anna, light say. Anna, light say. Good morning and a warm welcome to all of you. We are here to introduce our team Urban Risers and also unveil the jersey of the team. And most importantly, through you, through the press, we want to seek the blessings of uh, Hyderabad to bring home the uh, trophy this year, this season. A little bit about our organization. Um, we are a real estate developer with operations in Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad with a primary focus on housing and between these three cities we are the largest real estate developer. Our company also owns a lithium mine in Mali and a graphite mine in Madagascar and is listed on Australian stock exchange. This is a little bit about background about our organization. Over the last uh, decade, as we developed large uh, residential communities, we have been noticing a, a very disturbing trend in the communities. In fact, an undesirable trend where children, parents included, are becoming couch potatoes and getting addicted to gadgets, different kinds, the mobiles, the Nintendos, or on the TV all of the time or most of the time. <coughs> this is not only becoming a social problem, but also a health hazard to people. So, several years back, our organization and the board decided we have to do something about it, whatever impact we can do towards uh, cutting uh, the, uh, the couch time for the people, uh, for the residents of our communities. Then we bought in, we, we decided that we should increase the sizes of the clubhouse from a 30, 40,000 square feet to 50 to 75,000 square feet, load it up with a lot of amenities. We did so, but then there was hardly any impact of, of, in changing this trend. Then, uh, if you go to most of the residential communities, when you go on to the rooftop of the uh, tower, you generally see um, some waste paper strewn around or cigarette butts or dust uh, gathering there. We've decided why don't we use these spaces uh, to see if we can cut this habit of uh, people sitting inside the homes and bring them out. So we started developing them into lot more, pack, packing it with lot more amenities and landscapes on the rooftop. And slowly, uh, some small, tiny percentage of people started to come out and then check out these new amenities because these are the new kind of amenities. We were not satisfied. Then uh, we bought in another new concept called as Urban Rise Genius in all of our new communities where we have a dedicated 12 to 15,000 square feet kind of a exclusive building 
And in these, we have packaged a lot of amenities like uh, robotics classes, uh, music classes, art classes, dance classes, um, cookery classes, etc. It certainly started to uh, show some impact. Parents are super excited about it. And uh, while that is going on, uh, we started also, the management also started thinking what next, how can we fortify this further. And there were uh, there are discussions going on if we should bring in a Sina Naval or a uh, or a Kulela uh, Gopichand kind of a, a badminton academies into the communities. Uh, an Amritraj uh, tennis academy, a cricket uh, academy. And while these discussions were going on, we we found uh, through our uh, dear friend and partner uh, Bhavan that uh, LLC was uh, offering. Uh, wanting to sell to uh, new teams this year and it just took an hour for us to make a decision that this is the right thing for us to do because if we are uh, asking the parents and children to come out of the homes and start uh, leading an activity and social life, we have to lead by example and we need to be a part of the sports too. That's how um, the urban risers uh, dawned upon uh, and Another uh, reason that kind of helped us make a quick decision uh, to buy this team is uh, an em rather emotional decision. You know, basically uh, Hyderabad had its own team, Deccan Chargers, few few years back. In fact, uh, Martin Gabriel used to play for uh, Deccan Chargers, uh, and unfortunately, in 2013, uh, Santi took over and. Hyderabad doesn't own a team any longer. Uh, so that was a big motivator for us to acquire the team. So we can provide a platform for the residents of this great city, Hyderabad, to have a common rallying point. So that uh, was another uh, catalyst in helping us make a decision that we should acquire a cricket team. And uh, would like to also share with you that we have been very fortunate that we could bring Nikhil Chopra as our uh, uh, coach. Having played for India in Tattoo for, uh, for the 1999 World Cup, I think uh, he is the right uh, person to guide and mentor the team. And uh, he is a great pick for organizers. <coughs> also immensely pleased that we could select uh, and welcome Suresh Raina as our captain. We are also proud to have uh, three of our own uh, Hyderabad uh, players, Pragyan Oja, uh, as you all know, Dhirmal Siddhi Suman and Sudeep Tyagi as part of Urban Risers and that makes us uh, very proud that we have our own talent uh, in the team. We are also super excited about our other marquee, marquee players uh, such as Martin Gaptil who is sitting here, Peter Trego who is here. Um, Dwayne Smith, Jerome Taylor, Christopher Mofu, and Benny, amongst the many other. This season, the matches will be played in Ranchi, Dehradun, Jammu, Vaisak, and Surat, and can be watched on Star Sports and Disney Hotstar. Thank you for this opportunity to introduce Urban Risers to, to all of you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, with us today we have a very versatile and talented actor, Vitri Venkateshwar. Okay, sir, you're getting a chapad handy. <laughs> sir has left a mark in Hollywood and Bollywood industry. Not only that, he's an all-rounder, a very good cricketer who loves playing. I think we can see him in all the matches which we have is being played here and uh, across India and over the world also. Please give it up for Mr. Victory Wayne Page for the case. Now ladies and gentlemen, it's time that I would like to call Mr. Pawan Reddy, sir, to please address the gathering.
players and all the cricket lovers. I am really delighted to be a part of the organizers, to take cricket forward and to be a part of this amazing journey that I'm going to be back on. Cricket is just not a sport in India. It's a way of life. It's a melting point wherein it transcends all age, gender, cultural differences. It's really a part and parcel of our lives. This ethos is also in India, where we have multiple religions, multiple castes, multiple states, but we're all one and that's India. This is what we're trying to bring through with the Urban Risers also. Create a sense of community where we're all attached to cricket and feel oneness. That's the ethos of Urban Risers. And in the years gone by, I was also the president of the AD Olympic Association. And it was the guiding principle for me during my tenure was to take sports to rural Andhra, to grassroots levels, where sport is still linked to financial constraints. So I committed my own funds, took sport to rural Andhra, grassroots level. Also the Legends League has the same ethos where we are taking these matches to tier two cities. You know, in urban cities like Hyderabad or let's say Chennai or Mumbai, Calcutta, they have a lot of sport, they have entertainment. But in rural India, the still sport is not as widely uh, seen or you know, participated or enjoyed as it's in the urban areas. So it's actually a great thought process that the league has, the Legends League, wherein they've taken cricket to rural areas. So if you see where the matches are played, they're all played in tier two cities. We have matches starting from Ranchi, we have matches in Jammu, we have matches in Dehradun, we have matches in Waisai, and we have matches in Surat. So if you can see, this is all going to the tier two cities where you know, there's a rural connect with them. So that's a good way to take this uh, sport forward also. For me personally, this journey is going to make me a part of one of the best players in the world to make new friends, new journey, new associations. This is also something I'm looking forward to, along with sport. It's, it's this new journey I'm embarking where I make new friends. And I'm so proud that we have one of the most talented pool of players. We have marquee players, and they're all truly legends. We have people like Guptil, we have Dwayne Smith, we have our skipper Suresh Raina, we have Oja, we have local talent like Sumat. We are a team of 21. This is the largest pool of players in this league. We're proud to say that. And we have 10 international players and 11 national players. So this is a very good mix wherein I think we'll give great cricket and people are going to love this. Our team is, our team is made up of some of the most talented players who ever played the game. They're truly legends. And I'm so proud to be a part co owner of this team. It makes me very proud that we are going to go on this journey, which is going to be very fruitful for the whole team. <coughs> I'd like to thank our sponsors for being a part of this to make our dream come true. Because without their support, you know, it's always a burden and we want to concentrate on, the, on winning the cups and not take care of these financial burdens all the time. Our families, my wife, my kids, I'm sure Manoj, I speak on behalf of Manoj also and his family, his kids, you know, our families are also part of this journey and we thank them for supporting us. And I must tell you about my association with Manoj. So when I got to know the Legends team and I wanted to be a part of it, I wanted somebody else who has the passion and who can take this forward and not have all the burden of so I picked up the phone and I told Manoj, this is what we should do, are you up to it? He said, give me a date, I'll get back to you. And he immediately called me and he said, we should do this together. Uh, me, personally, I'm a little carefree guy, you know, let things flow by. More passion than, uh, uh, you know, I'm not the guy who will write down things and do it much easily. But Manoj, with his uh, organization and his thought process, he's more on the dot, gets things organized, 
So we had this fabulous workshop yesterday for the players. It was a new experience. They were telling me it was very interactive. And, you know, they've been to many of these sessions, but the best ever they've had so far. Uh, they had a great two-day training session. And to our top, it's not all work. The Mahi does a lot of fun. So Manoj had a great party last night. We have something this afternoon for the team. So it's going to be a good mix of uh, fun, play, a little bit of work. And I'm sure we're going to bring home the cup this year. It's our debut year. I'm very sure I'll show you. <laughs> and also, we have the tagline of, you know, we may not have had a Hyderabad put it. But, like, we wanted to, we wanted the Telugu pick stage to feel that they have a team. Like we said, uh, Hyderabad Sunrisers, the IPL team is not owned by local Hyderabadis, so we wanted that local flavor and we wanted the support base of the entire Telugu states and also all across the country, but more so Telugu states. That's why we have Hyderabad and we're hoping that we have both the Telugu states rooting for this team. And you know, we promise you, we'll do our best and we'll try to get on the cup this year. And my advice and request to players is let's play this game with passion, sportsmanship, fun, dedication, and thanking you guys for being a part of this, welcoming you to our family of organizers, and welcome and all the very best for the tournament ahead. So this, this, is, this tournament, as I said, is going to be played in five states with, uh, with, with the same league format as IPL, and we have six teams, and we are proud to own the organizers. Thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with your round of applause, I would like to call the heart rope of millions and billions. Victory Vintage Garu, please come and address the gathering here.